Gotcha. I, uh, you know, I, uh, so what do you, what do you do? Like, what do you do all day? What do you do for fun? I don't really have much fun, Aiden. I don't believe life's about fun. I know you told I work me. And, yeah, I work and I train and look after my children and build my empire and try and avoid matrix attacks. Yeah. I'm a very dedicated, hardworking individual. My life is pretty regimented. There's not so much room for random acts of drug taking and Facts. speaking to impersonators and whatever else you're doing with your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I agree. Being gay on stream and all this shit. So why did you come out as gay if you're not gay? I'm not gay. You saw that clip? Like, I, I can't believe they fucking tweeted it out. I'm not gay. You know I'm not gay, bro. You know I'm not gay. You know I'm not. You know I'm literally okay, not. Who's, who's your girlfriend? I mean, I don't have one right now, but I had one. You're 22 and you're a millionaire and you haven't got a girlfriend. No. I don't. I think That's girls are gay. I, That's gay, bro. How is that gay? How is that not gay? That's as gay as you can get. Just because I don't have a girlfriend? Yeah, bro, you're 22 and you've got a bunch of money you don't deserve and you can't even fucking get a chick to pretend to like you for money or nothing? I don't believe in um, true love, Andrew. That's gay, bro. It's fake. Why aren't you married then? Why am I what? Why are you not married? Who says I'm not married? Are you married? Congrats, bro. Why didn't they get invited to the end wedding? Who says I was married? Are you in love? I'm in love with life, my friend. Every day I'm breathing, I'm happy. Okay. But uh, I've certainly never been sat around lonely like you. That's, that's gay and weird. I got my boys. My boys are cool. They hold it down, you know? Got the boys. Your stuffed animals? No. Oh, you have real friends. Where are they then? Did you just have a, is that a bug in your room or is that the cigar? What was that? It might be a, it might be a fly. It might be a matrix agent. Flies are matrix agents. Mm. Did you know that? I um I don't think so. I don't. So what does that mean? Flies are. What does that mean? They're they're part of the matrix. Explain how. They're agents of the matrix. How does a fly get? How's a fly an agent of the matrix? Because it's unwelcome and it infiltrates. Yeah. Spies. Yeah, but flies are a bug. What do you mean? Bro, you need to see deeper. Use your third eye. Open up your chakras, you'll understand. I want to introduce you to Ali. Oh my God, my friend Ali. Aiden, you know, every single time I speak to someone on your stream, nearly every single time, they're an idiot. You know that, don't you? Nearly everyone you okay. introduce me to. You can't lie. Idiot. When I got Jake. No, let, me, let, me try, let me try and remember. Let me try and remember the people you've introduced me to. I don't know. Every time you bring someone on, they're just Wait, like, this, is my, this is my boy, Jake. Jake, this is Andrew. You wanted to, you wanted to meet him. This is my, this is, so Andrew, I'm going to give you a little context. Jake here, I, uh, he's been following me for a long time. He loves you. He loves my streams together. I wanted to introduce you to Jake. He's a big fan. Good to meet you, Jake. Nice, nice to meet you too, Andrew. He's been supporting uh, us. He likes, he likes the dynamic, the duo and stuff. So he's been... He likes the streams and stuff. I just want to introduce you. He's one of our biggest fans. Hope you're learning things, Jake. I only come on here to try and educate the world via proxy of educating Hayden. <laughs> he has great energy, bro. I, I met him in person a couple times. He's a really, really high energetic, really like sweet, 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 sweet person. For real. That's good. I like that. Yeah, he's good, man. Mm -hmm. Um, Jake, you should tell Andrew. So he actually started streaming too, bro. He uh. He's, he, you know, he, he found a, found a passion. He's, he started to stream, Andrew. He's motivated to stream. Yeah, he's been putting a lot of work. I know the name of your channel. I'll check it out. Um, it's my name. I'm Jake Future Tony Federer. Good. Me and Aiden. Aiden's going to help you get very famous. Yeah. Very rich. Very well known. Exactly. That's the goal. Yeah. take all the girlfriends he hasn't got. Yeah. What the, Jake? Yeah. What the? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. Um, also, Andrew, I am looking to box, by the way, soon. So you, you pick my opponent, I'll box him. Give me a six-month train. Pick my opponent, Andrew. Box me. <laughs> okay. I'll box you, but you have to have one hand behind your back. It's only fair. Bro, that's not fair. I would destroy you. 
All right, Jake, who would, who would win, me or Andrew? Andrew. Andrew would, um, yeah, all he, all he really needs to do is to do it one much. You want to be knocked out. Knocked out? This guy, you think this bald fuck is knocking me out, Jake? Yeah. Andrew, we could spar for fun. You know, I'm down to, you know, hop on a little jet coming to Romania. Okay. Uh, we could spar. It's Thursday. Come here. I expect to see you by Sunday. We're you can't. Fight. You can't do that, bro. You cannot do that, bro. I have stuff planned. Just like you, you're. What, what have you got planned with your very busy, very important life? Tomorrow, I'm putting. Um, I have eight fat people. I'm gonna put on an eat date with a fat girl. Uh, the day after that, I'm having my friend. Um, a couple of my friends. They can't leave a jail cell. Uh, last one leaves a jail cell. Uh, gets paid fifty grand. I have some events getting planned. Okay, I don't know why you do the jail thing. That's fine. What's this fat girl thing? <laughs> you want to participate in the jail thing? I've done enough jail for now. Okay. So, Andrew, I have um, eight fat guys competing against one fat girl um, for an eating. Oh, don't do like that. And how does it work? What do you mean competing? Explain all. I don't understand. So, I have eight fat guys, and there's one girl, and the girl has to choose one fat guy. Does that make sense? So, you're like fat Cupid. Yeah. And which and you're one of the fat guys. Ha ha ha. You're so fucking funny, bro. No, bro. I have actual fat people. Fuck. You don't want to lose to your the other fat guys. I'm not fat. You I'm you not win. I'm not You should use your I'm not, banana. I'm not fat. I'm not fat. You're pudgy. Okay, but that's not fat. And I'm not even pudgy, bro. You look like look, look, do I really look fat in this? How when are you coming over here to fight, man? You said you're gonna fight. When are you coming to fight? When should I come? Should I come in December? Oh, Eddie. Oh. Eddie. Oh, wait, not Eddie, but um, wait, how far is Australia to Romania? Far. How far? You don't know basic geography. Far, bro. Far. <laughs> how many hours, bro? Because I'll just, I'm going to Australia. I'll just, I'll, I'll stop by. Jake, you have a, a bright future ahead of you. You should be careful hanging around with losers like Aiden. He's full of shit. All right, bro. You know what? This is fucking crazy, bro. I can't. Um, yeah. When you go to Australia? Um, I'm pulling up. Um, I'm going to meet some people, uh, do some streams. Oh, I'm going to swim with the great white sharks out there for a stream. Great. When are you going? December. You want to meet me there? I was supposed to go in December also. I had it all planned, but I'm in the middle of a matrix attack, yeah. unfortunately. <sighs> When you're genuinely influential, you get attacked by the Matrix. I mean, I know you wouldn't understand, but when you're actually influential and important and say things that matter, the Matrix attacks you. When you just pretend to be gay and do drugs and just be an idiot and be a clown, then they leave you alone. <clears throat> if you say things that actually inspire resistance amongst the populace and make people awake so All they can right. resist a state of mind. You don't, nobody, the, the, ma the mainstream media never sees it, but I really do talk about God a lot. I talk about a lot of people pursuing their passion, manifesting their goals, following their dreams and stuff. I really do a lot, you know. How much money do you get? Um, when's the last time you fed somebody or helped somebody? Aiden? Was the last time I gave out money? Yeah, when's the last time you helped? Yesterday, somebody? yesterday, yesterday. I do a lot of things that I don't even want to show on the camera. I do things for the camera. I do not for the camera. But I do things on camera. I do things off camera. Like, yeah. thank you, Jake. Oh, thank you. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When was the last time you fed somebody, uh, Andrew? Can you can you put a website on the screen? Put takepledge.com on the screen. I give twenty five million dollars a year to charity. It's all there. I'll tell you right now. I'll donate to a charity with you, but we have to bet on it. I'll tell you what. This is what we're going to do. I'll spar you. Loser has to donate 25 grand. Also, but, but, Andrew, you have to run my double in basketball. We'll one-on-one -on -one and play basketball. Hayden, why are you talking about winners and losers like there's any chance of it being anything other than you just getting your ass whooped? <laughs> In the spar, maybe, but in the spar, maybe, but in basketball, you're not beating me. You're too old. If we spar, you're too if old. We spar first, if we spar first, I guarantee I'll beat you in basketball. You will not be playing basketball when I'm done. Okay, so we're gonna play basketball first, and then we're gonna we're gonna do the sparring. No, on a serious note, though, tapepledge.com. I want to make that clear to the world because the MSN never mentions that either. Tapepledge.com. I donate twenty five million dollars a year to feeding people. You go there right now. In fact, last week we were restoring eyesight. That's beautiful. People, operations. That's honestly beautiful, bro. Uh, yeah, you could be. 
we work hard to help people, Aiden. And I think that you should use your massive platform and the wealth that you don't deserve. I do, I do! Bro, uh, bro, you don't see it. Cause guess what? You only see the bad controversy with my name. Nobody sees the good. I don't care about that, but you don't see it. You don't know what I do. You don't know, cause you don't see it. I don't blame you. But the mainstream media never puts the good shit. They only put the weird shit when it comes to my name. Is sipping lean on stream for children to see? Is that some, one of the good things you do? No. And that's why I don't sip lean anymore, Andrew. Why'd you do it at all? Don't you feel guilty? Of course. I wish I never even picked up that bottle. I was going through a really hard time in my life, and I really wish that I had somebody to speak to. I didn't really have anyone that, I could, that took me seriously to talk to. And um, I fucked up, and I feel guilty about it. But I haven't, I haven't been sipping, bro. I've, I've been clean, for real. All right. We'll see. Till the next clip turns up, and I unfortunately, <laughs> they unfortunately they appear in my life. I try very hard to avoid it, but somehow just some clip of you doing something degenerate manages to appear in my ecosystem. Wait, so I have a question. Do you actually see? Do you see me a lot? Like, do you when you see me? Do you like should I check up on Aiden? Do you miss me? Be honest. I miss you. I think about you all the time, bro. I really, really do miss you a lot, bro. I miss you. No, people. When you do dumb shit, people always message me like, "Look, Aiden's being an idiot. Fix him." And I'm like, he can't be fixed. I can so be that's fixed. what usually happens. Every time you do something dumb, people start flooding my Twitter mentions with, look, Aiden's a loser. And it's just like, you know. Do you have love for me? I think <laughs> you're, I don't think you're a bad person. I think you're an idiot, but you're not necessarily a bad person. Are you perfect, Mr. Tate? I wouldn't say I'm perfect, but I definitely strive hard to be the best version of myself. And I'm very clear and conscious of my actions. And I try and be as rational as possible. And I make sure that the decisions <laughs> I make daily contribute towards increasing the life of, and the quality of life, not only of my own, but also of people who I care about and people around me in the world as a whole. I don't sit there and think, oh fuck it, I'll just drink drugs because I feel bad because I don't know what, what can you even feel bad about? What's hard about your life? Personal manners, bro. Oh, yeah. Tate, I have you know, I sat, I sat in a jail cell for about six hours on stream. So you copied my jail stream. <laughs> I did. A cheap version. Yep. And then you never even went to jail for real. And that, and that's why you're taking drugs. Can I be honest though? Jail wasn't even that bad when I was, when I, when I did the stream, it, it, I mean, I kind of went a little bit crazy. I had my phone in there, but it didn't seem like that was that bad. Well, six hours in a fake jail with your phone. That's called being, <laughs> that's called a bedroom, my G. What are you talking about? Yeah, but like. That's, like, that's, that's nothing like real jail at all. It's not true because in, in the real jail, you can keister a phone up your butthole and poop it out, and you have it, you have it in your jail cell. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> um, all right, so when are, we, when, when are we hanging out? I think you should come here. We should spar. Fine. Can I bring Jake, Paul? Uh, I think Jake. <laughs> well, I mean, if Jake and I were to fight, it would be... Uh, Big, big, big news, but we can spar. I don't know if want to do the cameras, but he's welcome to come, I'm sure. All right. Um, I got to come all the way to Romania. It's fine. I'll do it. I'm going to beat your ass, kick your ass. Um, let's see here. Uh, if I beat you. Right, I, want, I want everyone in the chat to remember, one, he said he's coming to Romania, which he's not going to do. Second, he says he's going to chop his finger off, which he's not going to do. Third, he says he donates money to charity, and he's going to show us how he helps the world, which he's not going to do. Everyone should just keep track. Can someone make a Twitter account, Aiden's Lies? They already have that. That's the funny. They already have that. That's the craziest part. They already have Aiden's Lies. They already have it. Aiden's Lies. I'll retweet them, and we can make it go viral to show how much crap this man constantly speaks. Bro, how did you know? Wait, did you know Did you know there's already a page called Aiden Lies? I actually didn't know. I had no idea. That's crazy. Yeah, they already have one. No, but um, but Andrew, real shit though, bro. You don't see it a lot, but I really do try to help and find ways to help people for real. I really do. Um, are you in Miami or LA? Where are you? Miami. I got out of that devil place. I sold my house out there. You know, I I love Miami, man. Miami's it's good. It's got some good spots in it. You know. Have they stopped swatting you? You were getting swatted all the time at one point, weren't you? Yeah, I got swatted in person a couple times. Um, but I now um. In Miami, I have a system with them. They would never allow me to do in LA, but I have a system where I have police roll around me pretty much everywhere I go now. Um, they really help me out. This, this Miami PD are super, super helpful, and uh, Miami PD is amazing. So they, they really make sure I'm safe, and other people are safe as well. That's good. Safety is important. That's very, good. very important, man. Very important. How's the uh, Romania uh, uh, police system going? Yeah. A unique experience. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> um, man, I um, yeah, man. I, you been playing any video games? I heard you were playing Smash Bros. Super Smash. I would fuck you up at Smash Bros. Stop it. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Bro, I would mess you yeah. up. You you gotta play me in Mortal Kombat. You wanna play Mortal Kombat or not? We're gonna spar. That's Mortal Kombat. That's that's done. Fair enough. But first, I'm gonna fuck you up at Smash Bros. Then I'll fuck you up at Mortal Kombat for real. I'll take your soul. Like Shang Tsung. That's okay. gonna happen in sparring. Okay, question. But Smash Bros. Come here. We play Smash Bros. I destroy you. Then we spar. That's our Mortal Kombat. And that's the end of Aiden Ross and his career. Fair enough. Yeah. Can, when I go to last thing before you leave or anything like that. When I go to Romania, can we hang out? Can we um, cook s'mores, watch movies? Um, and um, uh, what's your favorite movie, Aiden? I'm curious. I have three favorite movies. Okay. Um, I, there's this movie called The Bronx Tale. It's an amazing movie. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's a very. It teaches you a very valuable lesson with life. It teaches you uh, that there's a, a hardworking man who's involved in the modern day slavery. He's busting his ass off every day, providing money for his family, and he has the real job. And then there's this gangster who um, pretty much is like has is rich as fuck and is splurging, and he has like the dirty money. And then there's this kid in the middle who's uh, the, the hardworking um, man's son, but he caters more to the the, the dirty money. It's just a super good movie. It's like it, it's a collateral movie. It's really really good. Everyone should watch The Bronx Tale. Um, De Niro's in it. It's a good movie. That's probably my favorite movie though. Um, what about you? What's your favorite movie? You like the you like the Matrix? Three. The other two. Um, I would say my other favorite movies are. I just watched this. Uh, what? Uh, there's some good movies, man. I. Uh, how, Aiden? How can it be your? How can you say I have three favorite movies and you don't know what they are? It's hard. You know, okay, okay, okay. I don't. I don't understand you as a person. I don't get how your mind functions at all. I have three favorite movies. What are they? Um, let me think of some movies. Like, I don't. I don't know. On what level are you on the spectrum, my G? What's wrong? Yo, with you? Andrew. Yes, no. yes, I am actually. <laughs> what are your favorite movies? <laughs> okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> all right, all right. So the Bronx Tale for sure. I'm gonna say this is very, very casual answer. I'll put this at number three. The Wolf of Wall Street. It's a good movie. I just love that movie. And number two, it's either Get Rich or Die Trying, or it's um, Eight Mile. Can you rap? Of course. If I write a rap, will you sing it? Yes. I'm going to type it out right now. I'll say it. I'll say it. Come on. Let's do I'm it. Right. You see? Can you see this? Can you see this? Yes, I can see this. All right. All right. You going to type it out or what? I'm typing it right now. Slow ass, <laughs> slow ass old head. Give me a sec. Fuck it. I'm typing. I'm making it up. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, Daddy Spice. Double Spice Daddy. Double Spice Daddy, I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm, what rhymes with lit? Sit, sit, tit, kit. Mit, wit, uh, blick. You don't have any <laughs> what? You don't have any wit. Uh, a blick, like a gun. Spit. What? Um, art, art. Um, clit, like a woman's clitoris. All right, that's the first. That's the first. The first line. That's the first verse. All right, here we go. My name Aiden Ross, and I chat. No shit. My name is Ada Ross, being gay is a skit. Drink drugs is haram, it's fun, it's lit. Don't have a girl, never ever seen a tit. Man, what the fuck are you writing out for me to rap? All right, can I write one and you rap it? I'm not a rapper. Ah, so now you're not a rapper. I'm, I'm not a rapper, you're the rapper here. Can I, can I just write a song and you sing it? Sure. Thank you. All right, song. I'm not gonna sing it, but I have someone who can sing it very well. Okay. I know this very beautiful young lady, she's gorgeous, and she has the voice of an angel. And you can write a song, and I will get it professionally sung and recorded for you. Okay. Uh, uh, and I'll play it on my emergency meeting. Oh, how, how is it? How was your day? Oh, Say again? How was your day? Your day? 
How was my day? My day was good, my friend. My friend, my day was all right. Yeah. We have to be grateful for things. It's too easy to be ungrateful. It's too easy to not appreciate the simple things in life. If you wake up and you're breathing, you should be grateful. Facts. I'm yeah. always happy. My day is always good. There's a lot of things that must be done. They get done. Yeah. Today has been a fantastic day. I was asleep. I got woken up by my good friend Aiden here. But I'm not going to complain. Yeah, stop to bitching, bro. Stop sorry. bitching. You got sand in your pussy. I'm not going to complain. Well, I'm you are. Complain. Well, you are, though. You're bitching a little bit. Oh, I oughta, I oughta. oh, your little knucklehead. I ought to smack you a little bit, huh? A little across the bald head of yours, huh? I like when you smile, man. You know, I'm the only one who makes you laugh. I really bring out your soft side. You're soft. You're, you know what you are? You're a gentle giant. You're a sweetheart. You're like a bear. You're, you're like that little, you're like a little LG bear right there. The little gay bear right there. That's what you are. But I ought to cuddle you a little bit. Huh? Come on, Mr. Tate. Come on. Oh. Come on. That was funny. No, no smiles. No chuckles. I'm a, I'm a nice guy, of course. I don't know why you threw in the gay thing. That's Get the fuck. All right, now, now. <laughs> oh, man. I am. Of course, I'm a nice man. Why would I? Why would I not be a nice man? I'm a very nice man. Hold on. Are you writing a song? Yep. All right. I'll get it. I'll get it recorded for you, and I'll put on my emergency meeting on Rumble. Am I allowed to say Rumble on Kick? Tough. Rumble. Yeah, you can. Rumble from the Rumble. Rumble. You still more to kick. Okay. Nah, I'm sticking with Rumble. Rumble, did you see how they just defended Russell Brand? What's the story uh, with Russell Brand, Andrew? Is that like where that guy from Meet the Greek, they're trying to accuse him of being like a rapist, which is not true. Why are they, why are they doing that to him? Well, I don't know the ins and outs, but what I do know is I broke it down on my last emergency meeting. I have a pretty strong bullshit detector and uh, a lot of things don't make sense. Mm. It's, it's called lying by omission. Do you know what lying by omission means? No. It means if you omit some of the facts, if you hold back some of the story, you can tell a small part of the story, even though it may be true, but overall it's a lie because you're omitting some of the very important facts. So, for example, in the recent Russell Brand attack, they said they've contacted 500 or 1,000 women who knew him, and they've now found these three women who are accusing him of sin. That's so stupid. But, um, well, yeah, that omits the 497 women who said he's a nice guy, right? So they're lying by omission, and that's the standardized tactic of the Matrix. That's what they do. Gotcha. He's upset some people, and he's now under attack, and Rumble has stuck up for him and said, no, we refuse to demonetize him or deplatform him. So I absolutely really respect that, and I think that we're in a battle for the good of the world and the good of the universe and i think that truth is what god always wants us to live under and the fact that in many places in the world today we, especially on the internet you can't even say the truth or speak the truth any platform that stands by creators which are being matrix attacked i stand by so i will never leave rumble ever good for you mm. um hold on okay i got your wrong song send it hmm. Okay, can I read it to you first? Sure. My name is Andrew Tate and I'm a bald D. I really want to take a trip to the Maldives. I really want to go, but I can't leave the country. They got me on lockdown since I got out of jail. I was really waiting for Aiden's letter in the mail, but I can say he really did offer to pay my bail. I love Aiden, that's my brother for life. If he was a girl, I think I would make him my wife. If I was there, I would, I would have protected him from getting stabbed from that knife. <laughs> It wasn't that bad. The last line was a bit weird. I don't know what the knife thing's about, but remember, yeah, cool. no, Andrew. I don't know if I told you the story. So when I was twelve years old and I was in my sleep, I got stabbed. Oh, this when you were stabbed. Yeah, with a pen. No, it was a knife. Okay, but Andrew, I got stabbed in my sleep. Show right? on your wound. Show on your wound. Okay. Have you seen his wound yet? Let me take my shirt off, Andrew. Embarrassing. It's a fucking. Oh. He got stabbed with a pen, G. No, I didn't, G. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Yeah. I just see some hairy arm, bro. You don't see that red mark right there? That's what you call a wound. I got stabbed at nine, nine stitches. But I ain't snitched, though. Shit. That ain't not a wound. That ain't not a wound. Jake, that is a Jake, it hurt. That ain't not a wound. It fucking hurt, Jake. 